Gude. Hi and welcome to this video. Um, my name is Thorsten Müller and I am the guy behind Thorsten Voice, so the Open German Voice dataset contribution. And uh, I made a really long video some time ago um, on how to make your own text-to-speech voice. And uh, I got a lot of positive feedback on that, so thank you. And after that video, I got in contact with a really nice guy called Peter, and um, we discussed uh, or chatted a little bit on Twitter on uh, a, sh a short and simple helper script I've written um, to transfer Minecraft's Mimic Recording Studio recordings into an LJ speech directory and file structure. And um, he had some really nice and great ideas and, and optimized my script. And so I thought, hmm, why shouldn't I do a short practical walkthrough video? And it's really short, it's just a few minutes, so no need to panic. It's no, not an hour or longer as the last one. So, yeah, I made this really short video uh, to give you an idea on how to, if you are using Microsoft's Movie Recording Studio and want to use an LJ Speech data set for text to speech training, then maybe that is helpful for you. So, that's it. Have a nice day and bye! A really short and quick practical walkthrough on how to create your own LJ Speech structured voice data set when, it, when you are using Microsoft's Mimic Recording Studio to do all your recording stuff. Um, mostly, or most of you will know that the LJ Speech data set based on Linda Johnson and Keith Ito's work is widely known and supported when it comes to the directory and file structure. So I personally I use Microsoft Mimic Recording Studio a lot and to make life from easier for me and myself so um, I created a short a little Python script which takes all the recordings with some meta information out of Mimics Recording Studio SQLite database and transfers that package into an LJ Speech file and directory structure. So let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, I will jump to GitHub to my Thorsten Müller Deep Learning German TTS repository. I have added a subfolder called Helper Scripts, and here is the MRS to LJ Speech Python script. So when I open that file in raw and copy its URL, I will switch to my Linux uh, system where Microsoft's Mimic Recording Studio is running, or at least is at least installed. So it's not running at the moment, but it's installed on that machine. So I'm in my temporary directory. Let's create a new and empty demo folder and I will download that MRS to LJ Speech Python helper script. So that's it. And if I run this one, running with Python 3, it will output that one parameter, one argument is required, and that's the MRS directory. So the script needs to know where the base directory of Minecraft's Mimic Recording Studio is in. So I will rerun the script again with MRS underscore direct here, and it's in my case on that one. So in this directory, is, this is the base directory of Mimic Recording Studio. So, and just to give you an example, if I put in the wrong path to the command line, the script will check if it's a Mimic Recording Studio base directory and will exit printing you this error 
that a path directory is not a valid MRS main directory. So I will now pass the correct directory and let's see what's going to happen. But one thing before, I have initially written that really simple helper script some, some time ago and um, mentioned it and shared it in my last video on how to make your own text-to-speech voice. And I would like to show you um, that script because I would like to mention one really nice person and that is um, Peter Schmalfeld. <laughs> Probably I pronounced his name wrong, so sorry for that Peter. But um, my initial version was functional but not really not really with having nice output or um, not having a lot of features. So Peter took my original script and added, for example, an FFmpeg inclusion. So now you can convert your MRS made recordings, which are by default 44,000 hertz and stereo recording files. Um, this conversion or LJ speech script can now reduce sample rate for, uh, in that case, to uh, 22,000 hertz and reduce the channels to mono. So you do not have the need to do post-processing your audio recordings, at least when you are just optimizing or reducing the sample rate and the channels. And the second thing Peter has improved is he added some really nicely formatted output. So thanks Peter for improving my, my original script. And after that I added uh, another small feature. So if you're using Microsoft's Mimic Recording Studio to do multiple recording sessions, which is really supported by MRS, you now can choose which exact recording session do you want to export in an LJ speech uh, voice data set. So, but that's just as a side note. I would like to run the script now. So, here's an example of what I mean that MRS LJ speech processor in the hopefully green color is um, added by Peter. So what's happening here, that's a point I've added. It's a, selecting all your recording stuff out of, out of uh, the SQLite database. And it's printing that session or that recording session uh, UU identifier with the name you entered on Microsoft Mimic Recording Studio. So for example, let's export my emotional sleepy data set. I will copy that UUID and paste it here. And once that is done, all the recordings that were made with that specific recording session are now exported and reduced to a mono channel and to a sample rate of 22,000 Hertz. So, looks good. Process has been completed successfully. Let's take a look what has happened. So, beside the Python script, we now have a subdirectory dataset. So, let's jump into that one. And here we have the LJ speech subdirectory. So let's take a look to our metadata CSV file. It's um, the widely known structure. So we have the, the file name of the specific recording without the suffix uh, split by a pipe character, the, the phrase, the prompt uh, itself, and another pipe, and the same phrase converted to lower cases. So, and without but in the WAFs directory, let's take a look here and randomly pick one and let's check. Okay, so we have mono 
and we have the, re oops, the reduced sample rate of 22,000 Hz. So, that seems to work correct. And probably <laughs> that's all. So, you can now use that, um, that directory structure for training your text-to-speech models. Um, as I said, but I know for sure that the Koki text-to-speech repository supported LJ speech file directory structure out of the box. So, yeah, that's it. Simple, but I hope it's helpful. So, wishing you the best. Have a nice rest of the day. Bye.